Hey guys, what's going on? Today we'll be creating this animated list. So we can delete items like so and then everything smoothly animates. And we can also add new items and again everything gets pushed down in relation to the new item that's been added. And we can delete items, it doesn't matter where we delete them, but everything adjusts accordingly. Um, and yeah, so it's not too complicated of an effect, it's just something that a lot of beginners don't know. Um, and it's something, it's quite a popular effect to use for lists on professional websites. So I thought that I'd make a tutorial on it. Anyway, if this interests you, then keep watching and you'll learn how to create this. So here we are in a HTML file with our boilerplate code already set up. Again, just ignore all the other files in here other than the JavaScript file, which I've linked to here. Uh, yeah, obviously it's got nothing in, as you can see. And our star sheets with just some default styling, just to remove the browser's default styling uh, that I might add to our uh, document. That we, we definitely don't want that, so we remove it. The first thing that we'll do is create an order, an order list. So it's called items that we can target it later on. And then we'll create the first list item. And we'll just copy this two more times so that we have some dummy list items that are already there when we load up our, the page for the first time. And then we'll create the button so that we can have something to click on to create a new item. As for the styling, again, we've already got some default styling, but we'll now move on to styling the unordered list like so. We'll set it to be a width of 200 pixels. We'll give it a margin. So zero on top and bottom, but 0.5 on left and right, both. And we'll remove the bullet points uh, that automatically get added to list items. We'll say list style none, so there's no bullet points anymore. And then we'll start the individual list item uh, in the unordered list with a class of items. We'll say padding, we'll give it, uh, we'll say three, no, we'll say 1.5 on top and bottom, and then on sides we'll give it a one uh, relative unit, so relative to the root font size uh, that the browser uses uh, on text or to, by default. As for the margin, we'll actually, instead of using margin, we'll use margin top. And this is very important that we use margin top because if we didn't, then it would interfere with animations later on. It's just important to keep that in mind. I won't go into specifics as the reason why that is. But essentially, if we didn't do it, then when we removed elements, then we would still get a bit of a margin gap between list items. And we can just set margin top only to remove that. If we did margin top and bottom, then that gap would remain when we removed items. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not going to demonstrate that because it would just be a waste of time. But obviously, this is the result. I'll zoom in like I had it at the start um, so that you could see it a lot better. Uh, and now that you've seen what it is, it's actually not what we're going to be doing because if we did it like this, then animations wouldn't work. Uh, and that is because essentially we need to instantiate the elements before we animate uh, them to expand outwards. We can't just expand them outwards uh, as soon as they've been added to the document because otherwise our other elements wouldn't respond to uh, this the new element expanding outwards. So what we'll do is we will remove a lot of this and we'll just say basically what you'll see in a second but we'll say margin zero uh, overflow hidden is very important because otherwise what we're doing we're, we're saying we're giving a max height of zero so it's got no height to it so now its text won't automatically expand outwards the height it will really be max height zero we combined with the overflow hidden uh, with that included and again I'll just show you, oh wait we can't see, sorry, but uh, what we'll do actually, we will give it to height for now just that you can see, so that's currently what we've got, um, and it's so squished together because that's the max height, so we'll say, uh, we'll say line height, we'll say we'll give it greater height now via the, the line height, so if we refresh as you can see it's now looking a lot better. We'll now set the max height back to zero. Set the combino height. Uh, yeah, so everything's a move now, as you can see, because it can't be greater than zero, so obviously it, it just isn't anything. As for this, we will give this the margin top because we'll only be able to see our list elements when the show class is applied to our list items. 
And as for its max height, we'll make sure that it's what it was before so that we can actually see the height that's been applied automatically due to the line height, which is uh, essentially the vertical spacing between new lines uh, of our power graph. But obviously, you know, our list items is only one line. So essentially it just uh, expands it. it, well it's basically the height of the text in that case. And now we will need to go, or you hold down Alt in VS Code to select multiple uh, targets. And then I'll apply the show because these will be, being, uh, we'll be able to view these by default. Okay, and we'll need to remove that. So we can, sorry, Li, yeah, so Li and show. And so now we can actually see them. Sorry, that was just a mistake on my behalf. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll actually style the button now, so I, I did forget to do that, so we'll do that here. We'll give it some margins that it fits in with the rest of the unordered list. This one isn't very complicated because it will never change. We'll get some border to make it stand out. Uh, and we'll give it some width, same width. And now if you go back, as you can see, it's uh, standing out a bit more, uh, and these are our list items, so that's good. We'll now do the JavaScript, so we'll say const items list equals document.query selector, and we'll target the unordered list, remember it had a class of items. After that, we will target the add btn. So we'll target that here, like so, not too complicated. Uh, and we'll actually do it like this, just because this has got higher compatibility. We're not going to dabble with Webpack for this tutorial, because I want to keep it as short as possible. So when we click on the Add BTN, which is a member this, this Add New Item uh, button, we will create a new list item, hence the name. Also create element and make it a list item like all the other list items, so li, an li element. And then we'll set, obviously, you know, this isn't a real application, so it doesn't really matter. We'll set new list item dot inner html equals what all the others are. It's not very exciting, but it is just for testing purposes after all. And then for the items list the actual uh, ul an ordered list element, we'll append this new item to it. And if we just do this, obviously, you know, we won't be able to see it because although it is actually being rendered to the DOM, remember it hasn't got the show class applied to it. So as you can see, they are here, but they don't have the show class applied to it, so we can't see them. So what we'll do, we'll just say new list item dot class list dot add and then show. So that now when we click on, we can actually see them uh, being applied, and this is all nice. Obviously, you know, it's not animated, not being animated yet, but it's a start. And as for this, uh, we'll need to new list item. Because remember, when we click on them, we want to delete them when we click on them. So we'll link to a method. Obviously, this isn't highlighted because that method doesn't actually exist at the moment, but we will create it here. So function remove list item like so pass in the event and through this I'll be able to target the actual uh, elements the, the li element that we clicked on through e.target which will be the element the one that we clicked on so we will remove show I don't know why that happened but we don't want that we actually want to move and so that will make it so we can't see it anymore um, and then what we'll do is actually yeah that's good so now if we click on and then boom we can click on like that obviously these aren't very good oh yeah and they also aren't applied here because the only the event uh, handler only gets applied when on new vendors we want to apply it the event handler event click handler to the dummy items as well so we'll use query selector or on the ul element to target every list item element with the show class, which is all of them at the moment. All of the ones that are automatically there on page load. And we'll leap through every single one. And then we'll say list item dot on click equals move list item like so, very simple. 
put semicolon there, why not? So as you can see, now we can click on the default, it works for all of them, basically. So now what we'll need to do, we'll need to do an animation. Uh, so to make things a bit more dynamic, we'll apply all the animations to this fade class so that we can choose to implement the feature without the fade class and that will have everything just without uh, any animations. So now on our style sheet we will say animations like so and fade. So all the list items are inside the fade class. So this transition will transition everything. 4.2 seconds, ease out, seems to look Seems to be a very nice effect. So all the list item elements in the fade class inside, so as a child. And we'll say we'll start off at zero because we want them to fade in. When the show class is applied, obviously only when the show class is applied uh, to a parent with the fade class. So we use the following selector. And then we'll just set it like that because remember the height's already handled here. But if we apply the fade class to the UL that, that, that contains allies, then this extra opacity animation will also be triggered along with animating the height for them to uh, expand outwards. So again, if we try this now, again, it's not gonna work. And the reason being is because of what I hinted at beforehand. Um, and that is because this class list, this show class list is applied as soon as they are, um, the list item elements is appended as a child to the unordered list and we need to actually insert it first and then apply the um, animation after. So what we'll do, we use a set timeout to delay the code inside for 10 milliseconds, so not long at all. And you won't even notice the delay. Uh, so now if we click on this, okay I don't know what was going on there, but anyway it's working now. As you can see. Uh, it is actually working um, and yeah this is basically what, what we have uh, because remember when we move the show class that also resets it back to its height of zero, margin of zero because the show class is what actually gave it the height in the first place which is the reason why this is transitioning in both directions because uh, we transition or with the uh, fade class so transition uh, every, pop every CSS property one final thing though, even though they are being removed, uh, it's not very efficient in terms of performance because they are all still there. All the list uh, elements are still in the DOM, even though they, even though we can't actually see them. So to remove that, we'll just say in uh, the remove list item, we'll set another set timeout. And we'll say 400 milliseconds because remember 0.4 seconds, same thing as 400 milliseconds. And I'll say e.target.remove like so, very easy. And so now if we remove every single one and we go to console, or so we go to inspect. If we click on, as you can see, there's no LIs actually in the URL, but if we click, so there you go, added, removed. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learn something new that you'll actually be able to use in your upcoming projects. Uh, I look forward to see them. Maybe if you have something cool, then a cool implementation of this, then please show me it in the comments box below. I'd be very happy to see that. Uh, and also, please consider liking and subscribing, of course. But anyway, guys, peace out. Have a great day.